it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome to the studio. Hey, Rose, what's going on? Uh, we're back. We've been gone. We've been away. Hey, I rep collage, Liza. Look at all these beautiful people. Where have we been? Hey. Oh, it's crap, King Pimp. Hey. It's so good to be back. We've been away. Behind the camera, we have the one and only Chunky Baker. Chunky Baker, happy belated birthday. Thank you, thank you. I enjoyed it. He was the reason we weren't around last week. Last week, we went to go see uh, Moulin Rouge uh, here in New York, not in Paris, I wish. Um, that was crazy. You guys, if you come to New York, you gotta go see that show. I don't even like musicals, but this was like, wow. There was some lady next to me. She was like, hee -hee -hee, like having the time of her life. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was beautiful. Um, what else is going on? It's Karen. The energy's rising. I'm so glad you guys are here because we have tons to talk about. Oh my God. We're giving away a collage kit. Um, so many amazing things have been happening with this kit, you guys. First of all, we introduced this, the collective image. So everyone's making things out of it in their own special way. On top of that, we challenged our members to create a PDA, a moment of public art display. So people have been putting this stuff out in the world. I did one myself here in Wall Street, and I walked by it yesterday, and guess what, Elvis? It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Uh, so Denise, Denise Chang, who's amazing in Las Vegas, did one in a bathroom. <laughs> so if you're in Vegas, keep your eyes open when you go to the bathroom, ladies. Um, and then Joanne LaFrance in Montreal did the most amazing, like, um, one of those bulletins where you, like, take it out. Oh, I mean, guys, this is what it's all about. Thinking outside the box, just propagating good stuff, right? Um, what else is going on? Okay, Moulin Rouge, really quick, check this out. Show! The sun's still out, oh my god! It's Ana Teresa! I like saying your name like that, especially you told me you have Portuguese background, now I want to exoticize your name more. Ana Teresa! Uh, Maria Teresa! Ana Te you see, the sun's still out. Still have, light out. I haven't had any alcohol just yet, so... Well, people are wishing me happy birthday. Happy Thank you, birthday everyone. Happy to you, Elvis. Um, have you guys seen the new YouTube? I just put out a YouTube today, and I was on my soapbox. Oh my god, go watch it. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm, I'm making mini content, put it on Instagram. It's really fun. I'm finally getting a hang of this TikTokness on Instagram. Um, so I don't know. But still no TikTok. But still no TikTok. I don't know how we're going to do this. If you think of a good letter, um, let me know. Now, Teresa is saying, did, did you spoil me on my birthday? Um, did I? Well, I mean, you took me to Broadway. I did get to Broadway, which is nice. We had a lot of mezcal. Um, Went to the museum. Okay, here's here's the, oh, the museum. Here is the, the giveaway question. How old is Elvis? No, you can't do that. <laughs> the highest number wins. <laughs> okay. Um, that was just a joke. No, it wasn't. Uh, also, there... There's only eight people. You won't want to know. <laughs> no one's going to know. <laughs> it's, it's Lindsay. Lindsay, what are you doing? You're doing some amazing work. I love it. Keep going. Um, 45. Oh, my God. <laughs> reverse it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what was I going to say? Joel. Well, I read <laughs> packed as well. <laughs> I, 26. Wrong. Um, okay, fine. Uh... Alfredo sauce wins! Alfredo, you just won a collage kit. Uh, you better make something yummy. Like Alfredo Wait, how did sauce. you guess that so fast? <laughs> did you know? <laughs> are you really 45? No. Oh. Yes. You no. are? Yes. Damn, boy, you're old. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so what are we doing? So let's, let's collage. Come on over. So you guys, I buy a lot of stuff because I like to buy stuff and then I forget about it. And look, I bought this amazing pad in San Francisco, the only stationary store that I found. So I thought I'd do something with this. So let me play with this. Look how rich. This is so beautiful. On top of that, of course, I have these beautiful Aztec images that keep me grounded and close to my roots. So I think I'll play with this today. Look at this little guy. So let's play with that. Um, what else is going on? What are you guys up to? What are you guys getting into? What are you watching? Did you watch the Oscars? If you saw my YouTube, you know I didn't. Um, okay, oh look, here's a collage I made. Here's another collage I made. Okay, wait. I usually get in trouble because there's usually porn. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Alfredo says, I remember Luis say that I was around 40s. PJ Hollywood has a 26 at heart. Yes, indeed. 26, try 15. All right, check this. I mean, look at this. This is just like the most beautiful thing already, right? The contrast is there. All we need is like one more thing to set it off. God. Oh, and 70 is saying, hello, guys. I'm glad I caught the live. Hey, where are you coming in from? What time is it? Where are you? It is 7 over here. The sun's still out, which means spring is right around the corner. Yeah, different from, from different areas too. I am so excited. This PRAB is from Mexico. <gasps> what? We're in Mexico. Uh, we yeah, are not that is from Ottawa. Ottawa. I love Canada. Um, I feel like my phone's been spying on me because I yesterday I was like I love Canada, and then I was watching YouTube, and all of a sudden there's like this. Maggie's saying she's from Subtle Barbs. Hensebe is from Egypt. Yes! Oh my god, really? Can I show you this? Turn around. Look at this. This Turn is around. a reproduction of an Egyptian original that I got at the Metropolitan Museum gift shop. Okay, come back. Um, yes, we are absolutely super official on this channel. We have a Just Tickety Boo just joined. Just Francis Cortez just joined. Boo. Joel just joined. You guys, it's all the beautiful people. Okay, so we're gonna work small because like I was saying, I found my little pad that I bought at a stationery store and so much can happen with just a little EBD page. Like, look at this. This is a collage, it's done. But let's see what else we can add. We have time. What's for dinner, you guys? After this, we're going to tacos. <laughs> we're gonna go get some tacos at Cholo. Well, at Cholo. Francisco is saying, hola Luis. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Fuerte abrazos. Um, Caitlin just joined. Oh, Caitlin, what did you make today? I want tacos. Do you make tacos? Ana Teresa said, just spent the day with the family at the Museum of Natural <gasps> History. Okay. So much inspiration. Oh my god. Mm, tacos. Oh my god. Can we talk about this for a minute? That is one of my favorite museums, the Museum of Natural History, anywhere in the world is so beautiful. All right, look at this, look what's happening here. So came and say, yay, I made it. Alfred is saying, it's not Tuesday, because it's not Taco Tuesday. Taco, uh, when you're Mexican, it's Taco every day, <laughs> you know? Joel just said, I just came back from IHOP for dinner. Oh, Joel, shut up, I love IHOP. Um, Joel, ding, 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 who is the winner? He was the winner of the open call for Februlage, you guys. Go take a look at his collage. It is everything but the kitchen sink. Um, he did every single prompt in one collage. I mean, that's why he gets a year subscription to Afar Magazine, our favorite. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, look at this. How magnificent is this little head floating? Ugh. Okay, I have the magazine. Okay, so we're gonna go for tacos. Look, she won. Um, <laughs> what's so funny? And then... Maggie's saying, the subtle barbs was in reaction to Luis throwing barbs at you, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not where she lives? <laughs> um, wait. Just to get you saying, Joel's collage was amazing. Thank you, Joel's Joel saying, thank you for the sub subscription. I'm so honored. Oh, you're going to love it, Joel. So, you guys... It does take like six weeks to get there, so be patient. It'll be next year, basically. <laughs> but, um... I'm just writing an article right now entitled, Why Collage Matters Now. <laughs> it's very serious, you guys. Keep an eye out for that. If you are uh, subscribed to the email list, I'm going to send it on Monday. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know what you think. Because I think collage is really important right now. For many reasons. And you'll find out in the article. Um, so let me know. And that is saying, the one in... The Natural History Museum in Ottawa celebrated that the indigenous people of Canada, so the artwork and carvings are amazing. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. I want to go. Oh my god, look at my cut. Ileana O just joined. Ileana O! You guys, it's Ileana O, the writer, the professor, the Wonder Woman. I was changing a carburetor today and I cut my hand. No, I'm just kidding, I wasn't, but I did cut my hair. Francisco hands. saying, saludos, I love your rings. Gracias, look at that, isn't that fun? It's my armor, so when I was a kid, I went to go see Frida Kahlo's exhibit, and they were saying that she used to use her jewelry as her armor. So that's what I do. This is my armor, y'all. Okay, here we go. 
Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, so like I said, I use a lot of um, Aztec, Mayan, pre-Columbian imagery to kind of keep me close to my roots. And it's an amazing way to kind of stay connected, right? So if you want to connect with your roots, with your ancestry, do it through collage. It's very empowering, especially if you're POC, if you're a woman. I mean, come on. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can I say what's going on for happy hour today? Well, happy hour. We just did a giveaway. Someone guessed Elvis's age, 56. And um, we're all very happy. What are you doing? What are you collaging? Um, I'm not 56, by the way. What are you? 45. So, are you really? So, the next... Um, you guys, the next collage kit is going to be insane. We have a new... Uh, collective element and uh, and this is gonna open a lot of doors you guys we have Sanja just joined oh my god where are you all right we're having a very special members hangout Sanja try to make it Terry is gonna show us how to do a zine we can all become zinesters and propagate our ideas like the good punks we are Hey, Joseph, I'm turning 54 in September. No, you're not. That's amazing. Alfred is saying, what day, Joel? Yeah, what day? So we can send you a happy birthday. Actually, I forget everyone's birthday. I forget my own birthday, actually. You forget my birthday, too. I do forget your birthday. It's so hard. Da, 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 da. All right, so I just used this CD, which is the best tool because it's circular and you can cut perfect circles with it. And check that out. Isn't that fun? Maybe we'll try something asymmetrical. I love asymmetry. Well, Joel says it's September 2nd. And then that is the same. I'm turning 50 Friday, but I have a heart of 20. Yes, you do. That's beautiful. Oh my God. Happy birthday. I talked about you in the YouTube, but I didn't say your name. I kept your anonymity, but, um, but I did say you were beaming. <laughs> um, because you are, that's amazing. That's it. That's the secret to eternal youth. Beam. Okay, I like this. And asymmetry too. Just stick it up saying, I'm so sorry to miss the zine hangout. Just stick it up. Oh, come back. Come back. <laughs> it's going to be really fun. So actually, we there is a template. That Did you is, set a date for it already? Yes, it's going to be, um, what is it? The 25th, you guys. It's going to be 25th. Uh, so... CK Collage has joined. Who? Oh my god, that's a sight for sore eyes. It's Chris! Superstar Chris, where have you been? Uh, um, we're having a zine making event. I'm reaching for this, you guys, I'm reaching for this. We're having a zine making event, Chris. Do try to make it on the 25th for the members hangout. That's gonna be fun. Um, when Teresa saying, I have yet to watch the new video. I love making zines. I make them without pre-folding the paper. Now that's, see, that's a skill. So if you the event, it's going to be really good. Just to get a boo, DM me. Um, it'll be fun. Joel's saying, will the zine class be recorded for the ones that can't tune in? Yes, it will be. And I emailed all of the members the template this Wednesday. So go to your... Um, email inbox. inbox because sometimes it goes to spam and uh, and check that out. Actually, do I like these dots? No, I don't like these dots, you guys. <laughs> Too repetitive. Let's try something new. Okay, let me go look at my magazine. Um, oh, I just saw this. I was talking. Look at this beautiful green. Isn't that beautiful. Okay, let's find something else. Okay, so we did our giveaway really early, but guess what? Guess what? I think I have one more of these collage kits to give away. So this one is going to I rep collage Alfredo sauce, uh, but I have one more in my bag. I'm gonna give it away. So I think, hmm, which the question be? Should be something really like hard and revolutionary. And Teresa is saying, love seeing how others make zine. Yeah, they're very punk. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just think about it. I am, can't you tell? <laughs> okay, come back. Um, oh, look, it's come that back. guy. Come back, come back. It's my brother. What's his name? Machete, right? He has a restaurant? You guys. 
East LA. Actually, that's where I was born. I was born in East LA at General Hospital. Um, remember that because that's that'll be a question eventually. <laughs> oh, this is a travel magazine. Oh, Fredo said it's Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. Oh, you win another. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I was gonna say you win another collage. No. Veronica just joined. It's Veronica. So Andres is saying, I have a zine I want to make based on the Gilmore Girls. It has been <laughs> on my idea list. <laughs> the Gilmore Girls. You know, I've never watched the Gilmore Girls, but it's the same creator as The Marvelous Miss Maisel, which is my favorite, one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, so I'm just saying he makes great food. Does he really? Know. Have you been? Sanja, oh, that's right. Sanja, you're in California. Is it raining where you are? Is a, he makes vegan food, if I'm not mistaken. What? Okay, guys. If you guys don't know about Audubon, he painted these beautiful birds. This is beautiful collage material. He's actually from New York, and there's actually a street called Audubon Way. But you think it's because of that? Yeah. <laughs> but it's also... <laughs> I'm just got very defensive <laughs> right now, because it's a Dominican neighborhood. He's like, excuse me? <laughs> um, yeah. So... Go check out Audubon. So let's get one of his birds here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? Yeah, I know. No, it's, it's very upsetting. We, all of our neighborhoods are not named after us. They're named after other people. But uh, let's, 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 do, let's change that. Let's have, what is it? Danny, Johnny Trejo, way. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo, way, way. <laughs> so for you non-Spanish speakers, way means like dude in uh, Mexican slang. So when you see your buddy say, hey, way, <laughs> it's very, uh, some very subversive Mexican, yes. Uh, Alfredo Sauce, do you use that? I use it now just, just to mess with people. Okay, look at this beautiful bird by Adabam. This, this, uh, yeah, this past weekend, we went, actually went to a collage workshop by one of our art fan members, uh, Charlie Welsh. He is amazing. Check out his work on Instagram at Charlie Welsh. He does some crazy stuff, you guys. Like, super talented, super weird, and I love it. Um, For the same, nah, just use faux. 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 And this is I love Nat Geo books for collage material. How those photographers capture the perfect landscape and colors, it blows my mind. Right? Well, check out a far magazine because it's just as amazing in a very modern, contemporary way. Um, and also, shout out to Wendy, who is one of our members. She does amazing photography and is actually up for being one of the best photographers in Australia right now. Uh, but yeah, she she gave me, she sent me this beautiful picture. It's a Lord Howell, no. It's a kingfish. I forget what things are, but isn't it beautiful? It's so chunky. Okay, you guys, look what's happening here. Uh, so Sanja's saying gorgeous birds. Caitlin's saying, is that a falcon? Oh, maybe. Alfred is saying, or he uses pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a word you want to use. <laughs> Dr. Crank, he's just joined. No, he Agatha didn't. Just Agatha. Dr. Crank says, Virgil. I got late, but never late to enjoy some great collaging. Let's hang out. So we are playing around. We're giving away a collage kit for the non-members in the U.S. So um, we still haven't figured out what the question is going to be, though, have we? And we're collaging with Audubon birds. Audubon. Audubon. That's a great book to put in the collage kits, too. Oh, it just might be. Audubon. Audubon. Um, okay, so what else is happening? Fill me in. What's inspiring you? What's what's what? There is an amazing exhibit here in New York City at the Brooklyn Museum of Mugler, who was a fashion designer. Um, and that's really amazing. There's also an amazing exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Mayan Art. And it's called something about the gods. Divinity of gods. Divinity of gods, you guys. What else do you want? Um, so let me know what you're inspired by. What are you watching? What's going on? Ooh, Veronica's asking, any more well books? Veronica, thank you for asking. Yes, they are in the pipeline. They are being made as we speak by our workers in the basement. Um, AKA me. AKA Elvis. <laughs> 
Uh, but he, he had a birthday, so we had to give him the day off. It's like, come on, guy. Um, okay, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Dr. Crank is saying, Autobahn is cool, but very creepy, dude. Oh, what is he? I know nothing about him. Can you tell me something about him? Um, all I know is that we have a neighbor, not a neighborhood, a street named after him here in New York City. That's where all the Dominicans, a lot of the Dominican community. Okay, okay let me reword that. That's where a large Dominican community lives. That wasn't problematic at all. Um, what do you know Joel about Joel says, I need three well books. Thank you. Gotcha. We got, it's going to be, you don't even know. I have been collecting some amazing material that I almost put in the kits, but I, it's perfect for the well books, you guys. You guys are going to love it. Um, practicing. Love that bird in the corner. Right? Isn't he fun? But look at, they're like having a conversation with the past, the present. This is a cut I got changing the carburetor. Um, okay, I think, so I would like this, but it's too yellow. I need some more, like, you know? Ana Teresa saying, my goal every time I am in New York City is to do at least one museum. This summer, we are hitting Brooklyn. Any recommendations? The Brooklyn Museum. Okay. I have very strong opinions about the Brooklyn Museum. First of all, it's haunted, and as an empath, I don't like going there, but it's a great museum because it's, like, six stories and tons of stuff but if you're empathic boy the ghosts get you at any rate that's where the moogler exhibit's gonna be so you should go there and then after that you can go to the botanical garden which is literally right next next to it um and in the summer it would be a really good time to go it would be okay uh but the met is just you know you can't go wrong with the met you guys we just became members um and like i said in my video today if you go and you find a New Yorker and ask them to buy you a ticket for a dollar, they can do that. Because it costs $30 to get in, but if you're with a New Yorker, you get in for free. Um, so, let's see. This summer, are we going somewhere this summer? Oh, we're going to Mexico. Mexico! I also want to go to Paris. Um, art fan Madeline, Madeline Bowties is like, let's go to Paris! And I'm like... But I got stuff to do. Maggie's saying, can I get a well book? Oh, Maggie, yes, you can. So, Fernando Art just joined. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so, there? about Autobahn, Dr. Cranky is saying, he was asked to move out of a family home because he was dissecting birds and grooming a very young daughter of his host. Oh, goodness, yes. That Back sounds... in the day in Louisiana. Oh. And that Teresa is saying, did you say haunted for the museum? Yes. I am there. It's super haunted, Ana Teresa. You go and you let me know if you see the same ghost that I see. So we have mm -mm. Kate Cuts joined. Hey. Jewel just joined. Jewel! All right, I found these And Teresa is saying, been to the men, the, the one at the castle last time. The one in the castle? Oh, there's someone in the upper... Um, oh, the cloisters. Heist, the cloisters. Yeah. yeah, that's another Dominican neighborhood. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. That's not haunted. You would think that'd be haunted, right? It's not haunted. Veronica is saying, how can I show three collages in succession on Instagram? So you go to Instagram, and then on the bottom there's a little plus sign, then you can put more than one. I'll send you YouTube. I think I can, I think there's a video on that. But please do. So I'm just saying, we're in Mexico. So we're we'll going to Puerto Vallarta and where? Durango? Puerto Vallarta and possibly Durango. Um, Puerto Vallarta is like West Hollywood. It's like the super gay town, so you know it's super safe. Uh, Sanja, come with. We're all there. My sister's having some kind of wedding in Durango. So, you know. Dr. Crank is saying, the mesh should ask you to curate a modern collage exhibit with living artists. Okay, can you... See, if I they say that... They need fresh POC voices. See, if I say that, they'd be like, you're full of yourself. But if you write a letter and an email <laughs> and send it, they'll do it. I, I swear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Virgil. We have Reynatos just joined. I believe that's Nicole also, Andy Branks. Hey, Nicole, yes! I love Nicole and that beautiful icon chest. Okay, look at this. This is happening, you guys. This is happening. All right. And that is just saying, we stayed at the Omni at a park hotel that Charles Dickens haunts. Oh, yeah? Never saw him, but felt all the souls that have stayed there. Oh, God, Omni no. Omni in Boston. No, I can't do that, you guys. I can't. I already feel too much. Um... Gee, I think I'm we done. We have Tamiko Green Contemporary Arts joined. 
Is that Tamika? Is that that really talented artist that we just connected with? Tamika, what's going on? You're amazing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start doing this. Um, and Elvis, we need to come with a with a with a question to give away the last of our kits. Yeah, we have a lot of people joining now. It's a oh, great time to join. It's a great. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're giving away. Just remember that you need to know the answer too. I need to know the answer. Oh, right. Because right. sometimes I ask math questions and I don't know the answers. So we have one left. This one is Alfredo sauces, but we have one left. And um, it's a really good one, you guys. Uh, so and the Anthony, I love the Hawks Falcons, one of my favorite birds. Is that what that is? I love it. Um, gee. What, what's my favorite brand of cigarettes? That's the question. <laughs> you don't even smoke. Oh, that's right. Okay, fine. Um, I don't know you guys. Okay, yes! Okay. Okay, this is a really cryptic one, and if you know this, then you so deserve So this. Dr. Cranky is saying, this was among my favorite kits. Right? Oh, wait until you see the next one. Okay, here is the trivia question. To win a collage kit, which has to be in the US. Okay. Um, in 2000, no, 1999. Wait, people are already guessing cigarettes. <laughs> what is it? What is it? This spirits, cannabis cigarettes, cool cigarettes. <laughs> Actually, it's American spirits. You can send me cases of the blue one. Anyway, okay. So in 1999, there was great expectations. Who played the crazy older lady, Miss Havisham? Who played Miss Havisham? In what version of the, of the movies? There's different versions. The one with Ethan Hawke and Gwyneth Paltrow, of course. My favorite. I watched that movie like a gazillion <laughs> weed. <laughs> you know, I'm allergic to weed. Um, sad, I know. Uh, my favorite movie. I watched it a hundred times. I don't know why. Someone's saying Martha Stewart? <laughs> no. And you already won something. Get out of here. <laughs> um, Cloris Leachman? Nope. Joe's like, gosh, I don't watch TV. Oh, I don't... Either. Glenn, Glenn Close. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> um, come on, guys. She's she's uh, Judy Dench. Nope. No. Should I give a clue? She. Someone's was, probably googling it. She now. was a national treasure. Helen Mirren. No. She was American, and she was amazing, you guys. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna give you a clue. She was also. Very famous for saying this famous quote. Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> Betty White. <laughs> you guys. Um, she was quoted with saying, Do you want me to seduce you? Cher. Silly. No. Helen Hayes. Do you want me to seduce you? Who said that? Oh my god, you guys. Yes. Meryl Streep. Nope, nope, nope. DeVito, I know. He, he, <laughs> he should win something just for that. Um, I think I'm done. Alright, if somebody comes up with it, let me know. You know who it is, right? I remember watching the movie. I remember loving it, but I can't remember. Besame, besame mucho. Okay, Mrs. Robinson. Yes. Who is that? Give me the name. What's her name? Oh, it's Matt. Matt can't win anything, but fine, <laughs> fine, Matt. Anna Teresa says Anne Bancroft. Yes, Anna Teresa got it. It's Anne Bancroft. Oh my God, you guys, my favorite actress. Of all time, I have a really good friend who looked like her pain, not really. Um, do you want me to seduce you? Dr. Crank says Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> yes. Um, so this is my collage, I'm very proud of it. Barbara Streisand. Come, come, um, come let me explain why. Come over. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Alright, so why do I like this collage? Because I made it, and as you will read in my... That's saying, I'm now destined to be a loser, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt. Um... Anytime you create a collage, it's a fingerprint, right? Like, this is why collage is so important right now, because, like, this has my fingerprints, my DNA all over it, right? It has a Aztec figure, which is connected to my heritage, the Audubon birds, because I'm a dreamer and I want to fly, um, you know, the nature. So it's all these beautiful stuff. This just works because, look, it's balanced, right? There's, it's grounded, it's pulling you in different directions, and there's rhythm with the circles. And this variety. 
There's these circles that are small and a big one, and the moon even is the same size as these circles. You guys, I mean, the asymmetry, it all works. So when you're playing, try to make a different, uh, make sure that your corners are different, right? These two are the same, but these are different. So play with that. If you're bored, if you were stuck with an image, see what you're doing with your corners and make something different happen. Um, so we have a lot of people from Canada. We have Caitlin, Ana Teresa, Maggie. I love Ana Teresa Canada. saying, I love the intersection of that circle on the left. Right? Isn't that great? So much fun, you guys. I love Canada. You guys, okay, so Dr. Crank is going to get me a show at the Metropolitan Museum. Can someone get me something in Canada, please? Um, I desperately want to go. All right, Dr. you guys. Crank is saying the head needs a pink soul patch. I need a pink soul patch. Louis is saying, I love the corners too. Right? This is so much fun. You guys, this is the best time. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you for hanging out with us. We've been missing you guys for the past two weeks. Winners, send me your addresses because you're getting your kits. And I'll see you next week. Ciao, Elvis. Ciao. Taco time. Cheers. All right, love you.